Now, when you go to the hospital, whether you go there for yourself or with somebody, you are at liberty, actually. It is your right to ask as many questions as okay. possible to the doctors, nurses, what is happening to you. I think that's one way of picking information about the various procedures that you are going through. Mm. So that if something goes wrong, mm. you know where to actually tackle you know, uh, the matter from. Mm. Because I've said um, elsewhere, the getting evidence mm. to establish a claim in medical negligence, as far as I see it, is not as simple as that. Okay. Now, there are, in, in other cases, you may be able to do that quite easily, but in the hospital, where most things do not pass through the patient's hands, for instance, and, 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 and of late, where we have this cashless, we are yes. going, uh, you know, electronic, and yeah. cashless and everything, most things happen on a certain plane, right? And for instance, if we were to go and uh, take a medical test and the, um, the test was given to you, some, some years ago, you would have been given, you know, a, a physical, a physical document, document with the uh, requesting for particular tests yes. what you're going to do. Yes. Now, in the same hospital, you go through a system. Yes. All you have to do is to go to the laboratory. Mm. And then you mention your name, they look at it, pull it out, and then do the test for you. Mm. So I'm saying that a lot of things are not passing through our hands anymore. Mm. And it's extremely difficult to, you know, um, marshal the uh, relevant evidence to prove a medical claim. And let me say that although, Sometimes in court, you may ask the court to order for those records to be brought, mm -hmm. you know, f and be used in court and order. But it's not as simple as that, okay? Because once the hospital has control over the document, mm -hmm. a lot of things can happen to those documents before okay. it comes out, okay. all right? And so, um, for, for and, and I think Kelly, you have alluded to that. And when it comes to uh, uh, proof, the, the requirements for medical negligence or negligence are not different from all others. Now, as a plaintiff in a matter, you first of all have to establish your, your claim by bringing in the requisite evidence to establish the facts you are alleging mm -hmm. as to their existence or their, mm -hmm. uh, the, the, their non-existence, non all right? So the burden is on you, the one making the claim. But you have to get the right evidence. The, the thing is this, now when you, when you, you, you take the hospital on and then you see the hospital, the, the standard you are going to require to prove that there was medical negligence is on the preponderance of the probabilities. Preponderance of the probabilities. Now, so you, I'm just imagine that in, in my two palms, the hospital is putting their evidence here, you are putting yours here. Yeah. At the end of the day, one must tilt in favor of the other. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so you must get the right evidence. And so if you don't get that, it was going to be very, very difficult. And I'm saying that, but there are some cases where you may not even need, uh, you know, to do much. Okay. And I, I refer to the, the, the principle we refer to in law as res ipsa locuta, mm -hmm. where we say that the evidence or the matter speaks for itself. Okay. And so, for instance, if I go to the hospital mm -hmm. and I'm to go through a surgery, mm -hmm. so I have a problem with the right leg yeah. or my right hand, and then I'm, I'm, I'm taking through anesthesis, I am gone. By the time I'm up, it's rather my left um, hand arm which is gone. Uh, 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 the question I'm going to ask is, how did it happen? Yeah. Okay? Now, if, if my wife goes to the hospital and weeks later, I mean, an extraneous object is discovered in her, in her system mm -hmm. through an x-ray, where else could it have passed? Who else yeah. could have put it there? Yeah. It could only have been through the experience with the hospital. Mm -hmm. So in those cases, it's really... It's, it's really simple, right. but there are exactly. other locuta. But in other cases, it's not as simple as that. But that's what I'm saying, that when you go to the hospital, you have a right to know what is going on. In fact, it's the hospital has a duty to, to, to inform you, inform you yeah. at every stage of the procedure you are going through. Mm -hmm. And failure to do that has, I mean, has its own legal implications, and all that, but we should insist. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you do this, people feel that, oh, you are a difficult patient, yeah. and things like that. They, yeah. they, sometimes they might even find a way to make you feel very bad about it, mm. but you don't know what may, may happen. We've had cases in this country where people's wives have gone to the hospital and have never come back. You suspect that something went wrong, mm. that a doctor should have done something, he did not do it, yeah. or he should have done something, he performed below mm. the standard mm. imposed on him mm. by law. You need evidence to prove all those. Like Kelly, Kelly will always say, if you don't have the evidence, 
There's, there's nothing else you can do. Mm -hmm.